Huge news out of LA. I know this happened a few days ago, but everything's been kind of swept under the rug due to the NBA playoffs. But essentially, Paul George came out and he essentially declined his contract offer from the LA Clippers. Now, the LA team, their Clippers team came out and said, we want to keep all three of those guys together. We want to keep Paul George. But in this video, I'm going to tell you why I think the Atlanta Hawks need to be screaming to make this move to pick up Paul George and trade for Paul George. Now, trade scenarios for Paul George right now, a lot of people are going to say it's going to be DeJounte Murray, DeAndre Hunter in a pick, or DeAndre Hunter, DeJounte Murray, and like Clint Capella or something, somebody like that. And then we'll receive a, a kind of a mid-tier guy from them in return. Now, if that's the case, I think this will not only be a home run, I think this will be putting the organization in a position to win in now and in the future. And I'll tell you why. Paul George averaged 22 points last year, which was down normally. But Paul George is a phenomenal big wing, a consistent score that the Atlanta Hawks have been searching for. He's also a superstar on the organization, and that's someone that can only sell jerseys, but also can play well, very well with Trey Young. He's a bigger guard, like I said, bigger wing who can score at will. He can also, he's an underrated defensive player, but he's 6'8 and can play very, very well off the ball. And imagine Trey Young going high screen and roll, throwing it over Paul George in the quarter, three. Bang. Now, a lot of people are also saying, yeah, they're not going to trade Paul George on the Clippers side. And I would say, hey, I don't know. I wouldn't be too sure about that because here's why. Number one, what they're trading for, it would be their immediate need on the organization. We have, we're fascinated right now as NBA fans with the idea if we're putting three superstars on the team that gives us so much star power, the team has to be good. And from what we've seen, just because you put three all Hall of Famers, all star Hall of Famers on a team, does not necessarily mean it's going to work out. Look at Brooklyn, uh, what, two years ago. Look at the Clippers now. Look at Phoenix. You need to have continuity in your team. You need to have guys who can play every role. You need to have role players in every role. And you need to have guys specializing in each of their roles. And that's really what brings you a championship team. People will say, oh, look at Miami, blah, blah, blah. True, but they had each of those guys were specific in their roles. They had Chris Bosh, who was a power forward. They had LeBron James, who obviously we know LeBron, but D. Wade is known as a shooting guard, and he specialized in shooting guard. He can he was a mid-range guy. Chris Bosh was a three. If you bring in three honestly large wings who are all superstars, but who all play very similar styles of play, that's not good for the team. Now, in regards to LA, we know they need help at the point guard position, especially as Russell Westbrook is saying, hey, I'm out. I'm leaving. So bringing in DeJounte Murray, also bringing in a large wing who can play defense, who is not a ball-dominant wing, who is not a pure scorer, will help. Imagine this lineup. DeJounte Murray, James Harden, DeAndre Hunter, Kawhi Leonard, and then Zubac, or you can have Clint Capella. That is a good lineup, and I think it will be a better roster going forward because it's specialized. It gives guys special specialties on each team for each position. Now, like I said, for the Atlanta Hawks, it gives us one step to building out this roster. You go Trey Young. You go Paul George. You go Jalen Johnson. You still have Onyeka. From there, you can either pick up a big. If you want to play small ball, you pick up another wing. You can potentially sign Sadiq Bey. You still have Bogey on the team. You start to build rosters. And I think both sides, this will be a phenomenal trade to help both parties. Because if we don't, if you don't listen to me and you say, hey, you're totally wrong, that's fine. Both teams are getting bounced out the first round. It's happened the last few years. 
and you can yell at me and get mad at me and say LA's not going to do the deal, that's fine. They're probably going to get bounced out next round too if they don't do something. And same with the Hawks. So, if regardless if you agree with me, if you don't agree with me, if you say I'm, I'm, I'm making things up, that's fine. But as of right now, today, both teams are sitting at home with the same roster they had this year and the year before. You can blame injuries, fine. That's whatever. But all I'm saying is, they're not winning teams. And with this trade, they can both help and benefit both teams, especially for Paul George when he's declining contract extensions. That's all I'm saying. But if you enjoyed this video, please do me a favor. Hit the thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on post notifications. And if you want to see more videos like this, check this one out right here. And like always... Peace.